Hey YouTube, a wise child here. Ever have one of those days where you're just itching for a drink at quitting time? I had one the other day, and it gave me the idea to share with you my take on a favorite after work cocktail, the old fashioned. Before I get too far, I know everybody and their cousin has a take on how to make the perfect old fashioned. And I'm not saying my way is the best way, I'm just sharing my preferred recipe that was running through my head and had me salivating after a long day of travel and work. Work had me traveling down to Baltimore earlier this week to facilitate a couple of business meetings. They went well, and I had a chance to see a couple colleagues, which is always nice. But I don't think I'm breaking any new ground when I say traveling is a pain. This simple recipe calls for five ingredients. A bourbon of your choice, Jamboree liqueur, which is going to make this drink a little bit sweeter than probably a lot of the other recipes you'll find out there, some simple syrup, some bitters, and finally, a little bit of ice. Personally, I prefer a larger ice mold. I feel it melts a little slower and doesn't dilute the drink too quickly. I start off with one of my cocktail shaker, followed by two ounces of bourbon. In this case, I'm using Evan William, which I think is a decent value for the price, but you could also go with another bourbon, like Maker's Mart, and be just fine. After pouring bourbon into my shaker, I follow it up with one ounce of Jamboree liqueur. As I said before, this is going to make the drink sweeter and thicker, and in my opinion, it enhances the aromatic element and makes the drink smell absolutely delicious. I follow that with about a spoonful of simple syrup, and then add in some bitters. I find about three dashes to be the perfect amount for me, but hey, it's a free country, so add as much as you like. I give the mixture a quick stir to mix in all the goodness together, and already the smell is incredible. From here, it's a simple matter of straining that goodness into a waiting rocks glass. A lot of people will add some form of citrus at this point, such as an orange peel, but it's completely up to you. And since I don't typically keep oranges in my kitchen, I'm not going to use them in this case. And there you have it folks, my take on this American classic, the old fashioned. If you give this recipe a shot, let me know what you think in the comments below, or share your own recipes if you have a different take. As always, thanks for watching, and please like or subscribe if you like these videos.